I came in January 1980. I was acquisitions librarian. Agnes Klusmeyer was the acquisitions clerk, and she's the one that actually trained me because in library school, you learn all the theory and that sort of stuff, but the practicalities, you know, you learn on the job. The library was limited to the physical books that we had in the library. There was no internet, there was no computers. We had card catalog. We had, um, we typed out our order slips and sent them off in the mail, and then the books would come back in the mail. Uh, cataloging information wasn't available online either, so we had a whole room full of what was called the National Union Catalog, and it was just these large books of cataloging information. So your book would come in, you'd look in the book for the cataloging information, you'd pass it on to the cataloger, who will then type up the cards, put them in the card catalog, we'd stamp the books and put it on the shelf. My job back then was actually to understand what our students and faculty needed and to order and get those materials into the library. Now it's so much easier and my job has changed more into a curation of that information than of actually physically bringing the materials into the college. We try very carefully to figure out what our students need and find the best way to get them that information and most times now it's digital. We have so much um, more available for our students and faculty. We have the whole internet at our fingertips. There's databases, there's websites, there's um, data sets, there's all kinds of things, images, film, everything's available digitally now and it's just a matter of figuring out what we need, what we can afford and getting it here. It's been um, a really awesome place to work and mainly because it's a small library and it's a small staff. So I've had the opportunity to actually do a lot of, most of the things that is done in the library. I've had the ability to do that. And one thing I really value is my work in the archives that I've been doing the last, I don't know, seven or eight years, especially with our rare books collection, because that's, as a librarian, the, it's the book that I love. We've been able to add some really exciting things to our collection, um, like a book about uh, an Orbertine nun in Bavaria who was accused and tried of witchcraft in 1749, and we have a handwritten account of her trial and execution. Uh, and we have an incunabula. The copyright date is uh, 1491, which is before Columbus came to America. And it's from the beginnings of the printing press. Uh, so that first 50 years of the printing press, those books are rare and valuable. And we actually have one in really excellent condition. I've met some really awesome people here, um, faculty, staff, and students, especially students, because they, they come and go and you meet so many of them. And they've all left an impression on me.